Just like your motor vehicle, anything mechanical, anything with moving parts, needs to be checked on a regular basis to make sure that it's working to the optimum level. Same thing with the pump. Check it on a regular basis to make sure that its lifespan is extended. How often you check your pump very much depends on, once again, very much like your motor vehicle, the more you drive it, the more regularly it needs to go to have a service. So therefore, same thing with the pump. Uh, the more you use it, the more you're going to have to check, uh, or more regularly you're going to have to check. A good pump with a good installation, I'd say once every six months um, at the most. It is very important to note that a pump, like anything else, doesn't want to get wet. It doesn't like standing in the water. It's very good practice to have your pump mounted on a solid platform, uh, so not on sand, not on mud. It's very good practice to put your pump under a cover or to put a little roof over it, just to give it a little bit of protection. Yes, it can handle a little bit of water, a little bit of rain, but it's always just good to cover it from the sun and from the elements. The better the covering, the longer the lifespan of your pump. It's very good to often just walk through your garden. You'll notice if there's a water leak is not always detectable, but you'll notice where your grass is a little bit greener, where the other grass is dry. Very likely a leak, where your soil is a little bit wet. Inside your house, where the, you will notice the paint peeling off. So it's very good just to have a look around your system, see if there are any leaks. And remember, a pump is a mechanical unit. If it switches on and switches off, there's a reason for it. It's usually due to a loss in pressure or movement of water. So that is always a very good indication that there's a leak in your system. The best thing to do is always to listen to your pump. Just once again, the same as your car. If there's a problem, you'll hear it before you see it. So listen to your pump. Listen to when the first time you start it up, how it performs, how it sounds. If there's a funny sound uh, within, it's normally due to a problem. If your pump is running, but there's pressure in your house, but not sufficient pressure, there's a very, very good chance that your impeller within is blocked. So any debris, any sticks, stones, bugs have gotten into your impeller, blocked it a little bit, and now it's not delivering the pressure. The best way to check this, on all pressure pumps, you will have a pressure gauge. Now this pressure gauge indicates what your pressure is running at. So please have a look at that. Make sure that your pump is running at the correct pressure all the time. When you're catching rainwater, it's best to filter your water before it goes into the tank. It is very, very bad practice and not recommended to put the filter directly on the inlet of your pump. This will restrict the water movement. Therefore, the pump will ask for water that it's not getting and therefore it will not be able to deliver that water. Remember, a pump cannot create water. It can only deliver what it's getting in. The best way to prevent a blockage in your pump is to try and get the leaves, any debris, before it enters your tank. So in this case, we have a gutter buddy that prevents the leaves and prevents all debris, sticks, stones, bugs, getting into your tank. Therefore, when your pump draws the water out of the tank, it's getting clean water. It's very bad practice to put a filter on the inlet of your pump. That will restrict the flow of water, so your pump will not be able to move water that it's not getting in. And as well, your filter could get blocked, therefore your pump will not get any water in, causing a dry run in your pump, and that is a critical condition. It can make your pump fail within minutes. It is very important to check in what condition your pump is installed. Remember, it's very, very important that you have the right size of cabling um, to get the power to the pump. Listen to your pump. If there's any sounds coming from it, it is most likely something like cavitation. That could cause mechanical seal failure and that could eventually make, uh, cause your motor to burn out. It's very important that your pump doesn't stand in the sun or it's not completely covered. There must be adequate airflow from your fan side, which is in the back, that will send the uh, air over the motor and cool the motor down. It is very, very important, especially on summer and hot days. All Pascali pumps come with foot mountings, which enables you to install it onto a solid platform and bolt it down. We don't want our pump to move around, largely for the reason you've got pipes connected to it, you can move those pipes, that could break the pipes, causing leaks, causing restrictions. It's very good practice to mount your pump on a solid platform, therefore you're restricting the movement and keeping everything in place. Pascale has a specially selected range of high quality water pumps designed and developed to provide simple to install water management solutions for in and around the home. The Pascale range is user friendly, carries a one year warranty, all parts are readily available and so is great service nationwide. Available at leading hardware and agricultural retail stores across South Africa.